Hey guys, and welcome to Duality 9X. Welcome back to the number one spot on YouTube that showcases some of the craziest, freakiest, weirdest, scariest, strangest paranormal videos that are out there on social media platforms. So, I can't get enough of the stuff that gets sent to me. In fact, there is so much stuff that I have to sift through and go through um, just to determine to determine its value content, right? I mean, the most important thing for me is to make sure that we have some pretty good, good videos, right? And videos that really make you think twice about what is right, and what is wrong, what is reality, what is not. So anyhow, we've got a great lineup of videos uh, for you guys today. So uh, uh, please like, subscribe, and comment, and definitely share. And uh, that's all we ask. That's all we ask. And hey, drop me a line, drop me a comment if you want to see some exciting videos, or if you want to, if you want me to react and talk about something, perhaps maybe that you haven't seen so far. Then let me know. Put it in the comment section. Anyhow, I hope you guys have your cup. I've got mine, and you guys know the drill. Without further ado, let's go. <laughs> That's a... Uh... That was a that was a cool little video. Um, let's. Uh, I want to watch that again. So he's he's got this bench attached to a string, and the poor kid has no clothes. Oh yeah, I'm out of there. <laughs> See ya guys. All right. Oh, this looks cool. Oh yeah. Oh, look at this diver. Wow. Oh, and this guy just threw, he threw his camera with him. Oh, just so he could get that perfect shot. Oh, that was, that was fantastic. Let's see that again. And look at this, just kind of like a little javelin. He just kind of throws it. And I mean, you got to be so careful with this stuff, right? Wow. You have to be so careful that that camera doesn't touch the diver, doesn't impede in his way or in their way of being able to do their dive because that could be dangerous. So you obviously have to... And I don't even know if this guy's a cameraman. He just might know how to position, uh, to position that drop, right? So uh, so that it doesn't hit the driver. Wow, that that's uh, that's great. That's really good. Cinnamon and today I went to Asia Market with my kids. We found this. I'm so excited to show you. Today I went to Asia Market with my kids. We found this. I'm so excited to show you how to cook this. When you see closer, is here is a face and the hair. This will look like underworld or outside of the space. Those actually called like bat, bat, not they look like a bat or buffalo. A bat, it's a buffalo face. Our anise, cinnamon, and shrimp pepper corn. We put it in the water, bring to a boil, then we turn it down to medium heat. Cook for 15 minutes. Now it's ready to eat. We take them out. You eat that stuff? Break in the middle. Look, at inside it's white. You can either just eat like this or dip in the chili sauce. Make it Chinese. You need my cookie bomb chili sauce. Let's add some sauce on the bat nut. Yeah, so it tastes okay. This one's for you. It's okay. Yeah. Hello, hello. This one is for uh. you. Mm. Today I went to. This one is for you. Would you eat a nut that looks like a bat? That looks like literally looked like the face of a bat. 
and depending on how you look at it, it could also look like the face of a demon. No, thank you. I'll pass. I mean, this, this guy explains why you should avoid it and why it's even worse for you than regular coke. Diet Coke is one of the worst things that you can put in your body. In fact, it's actually way worse than normal Coca-Cola. And I'm going to tell you right now because I get it. It has zero calories, zero sugar, but it has something much more harmful. Aspartame which is an artificial sweetener that's actually banned in many countries outside of the US. And the reason it's banned is because this chemical compound actually increases free radical production and oxidative stress in the brain, which causes inflammation, which causes cognitive and behavioral disorders such as anxiety and depression. So throw this oh. out, go to my Instagram story right now for a much better solution. Peace. You know, um, yeah, that, that's, that, that's kind of interesting because Diet Coke is actually my favorite uh, tasting soft drink. Something about Diet Coke I like, but obviously uh, this guy is talking about how aspartame is not good. And aspartame clearly is one of those um, mystery ingredients that there's not much information on unfortunately so when you don't know something sometimes it is better to just i guess stay away i don't know what are your thoughts moving on probably buying fake gmo ginger from the supermarket this guy explains how you can make sure that the ginger you buy is actually real and natural so you look out for this it's chinese ginger this is wild ginger Chinese ginger has been selectively bred to produce much larger offspring, so more desirable characteristics for them to sell it for more money. This is wild ginger. The Chinese ginger tastes very bland, is not as potent, and doesn't have the same healing properties as the wild ginger. This is Ugandan ginger, but other Asian countries and other South American countries also produce this type of ginger. It's much stronger, it's always darker in color. It's always a lot smaller than a Chinese ginger and has a lot more healing properties. Always go for the smallest ginger okay. you can find. You are probably buying fake GMO yeah. ginger. Um, I, I probably be, be I, I, myself, I've probably bought fake, you know, ginger. And um, I guess from, from what this individual is saying is that you need to buy ginger that's a little bit smaller, a little bit darker in color. Uh, I guess there's a little bit more potency to the ginger, I guess, as opposed to buying something that looks like the Marshmallow Man. Yeah, you learn something new every day. Yeah, but no People have been saying that Cardi B started glitching in his interviews. Let me know your thoughts on this. Y'all want to be involved so get bad, him. but get nobody him. asked me about no damn gift. What's get good? Him. Get him. <laughs> <laughs> so is, that, is there going to be a public registry? Because I'm going to be honest with you. Take the gift cards. Everybody's presence. Take the gift cards. Take the gift cards. Take the gift cards. Yeah, because they might put what's that thing that was going around in the early 2000s? Yeah, I know. I've been a grand, so nervous, a little bit overwhelmed. I feel a little shaky out. No, I'm good. 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 I'm Okay, um, I did notice something. As soon, like, it seemed like she was kind of like, you know, like a deer in, like, headlights kind of a moment, right? She was a little, maybe confused, a little, you know, caught by the moment and just kind of like, you know, puzzle-eyed. And all of a sudden, somebody said something in threes. They said, this. They, so the guy said, gift cards, take the gift cards gift cards gift cards he said it three times and then boom she just started talking again and the same thing happened in, i guess in this red carpet interview and she just kind of froze and and the you know the the interview uh interviewer was saying um she said something th again in threes and then she just cardi b just kind of snapped out of it and everything was all okay again so i don't know i don't know I don't know. See what I did there? 
basically tried to tell us that she signed her soul to the devil. Let me know your thoughts on this. I noticed that these in the industry ain't no love in the industry. Like, you could really buy these this loyalty. And I took an oath when I was 16. And loyalty means so much to me. And loyalty should mean so much to anybody. Because let's say if the devil, let's say if the devil comes to you, right? And so you, I'll give you a hundred million dollars. But I want you to turn your back on God. Would you turn your back on God or would you take that hundred million? Me personally, I would turn that hundred million because loyalty to my God, loyalty to my people, loyalty is so important to me. But evidently, it's not loyal. Ain't no loyalty to these. Like this industry that I'm in is so fake, it's so whack, and it's so hard for me to adapt because I'm not used to this shit. I'm not used to this. I'm used to living. I'm used to living my life under an oath. Like I've been living under oath. Did Cardi B? I don't know. Um, it to me it seems like that video was doctored a little bit. They they kind of manipulated what she was saying to make it sound like she was gonna actually turn her back on God. For a hundred million dollars, if, if somebody gave you a hundred million dollars and told you to turn your back on God, would you? I wouldn't. There is absolutely no way. And I think, I think Cardi B said the same thing that she would not turn her back on God for a hundred million dollars. So, um, but they, I think the way they manipulated that that video clip made it sound like she would. Come on, man. All right, what do we got here? We got Kanye West. There's no way Kanye West literally predicted his own downfall in this interview before anything had happened. Does this show us how it's all planned? Let me know your thoughts on this. Be a moment, post this interview, post whenever, where it says Kanye, oh, the artist, the, the human being formerly known as Kanye West is no longer the richest black man in America. He's homeless, but just wait. Wait two, three, four years, and Poot Terminator, Putin, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> yay, will be back, and we're gonna be Yeminator. back, bigger, yeah, bigger, better, more community than right. ever, because all the people that would be afraid of this don't say? need to be around. Something there about is Putin, Terminator, and when he comes back, then Kanye's gonna be big, uh, back bigger than ever. Hmm. There's something that I'm missing there, but... Oh. The way he just done this, Paul McCartney Flash from the Beatles symbol. done this blatant symbolism while sitting down. I don't know, maybe he was just kind of, you know, relaxing, he was There just, was no way he just okay. done this, Paul McCartney from the Beatles chair, done this blatant you know, symbolism you know while sitting down. Crack your, I don't know, arms or... You're just kind of getting... Yeah, I didn't see anything negative there, I didn't see anything bad. I don't know. Vegetables are not the same as they were before. Totally. Many people don't realize that over time, farmers have artificially selected free bread, fruits, and vegetables to make them bigger, more tasty, and easier to eat by getting rid of all the seeds. This is what a wild carrot used to look like in the 10th century. This is what a carrot looks like now. Now look at how small corn used to look. Here is what it looks like now. What's even more bad is that the nutrient levels have significantly dropped. So even though the fruits and vegetables are bigger, it has way less nutrients as our soil has been depleted of nutrients. My suggestion is to eat real natural foods that have had very minimal selective breeding and this is why wow. fruits and vegetables on I believe that I I I I kind of agree with uh, with this individual um, about how vegetables are definitely not what they used to be now I'm talking about it more from taste I mean I wasn't back in the medieval ages when wow did you see that carrot look kind of gnarly it was like yeah a lot different looking than what we see carrots as today and um and corn was like super small and very like you know and now like corn looks a lot different and who knows i mean if this is the way it's always been then wow that that's pretty interesting then food has definitely evolved it's changed uh over time and um i, I honestly wholeheartedly guys uh even the taste the taste of a lot of our fruit and vegetables that we've loved for so many years is, is starting to is starting to change All right, what else? Oh, Kanye! Ye wearing an Alexander McQueen Jesus mask at the Super Bowl.
Yeah. Wow. Oh. The bad boy himself. D. Rodman. What say you? Okay. Yeah. It's Dennis Rodman being Dennis Rodman. I mean, he took sports entertainment to a whole new level. Oh man, punching cameras, kicking report. I remember this. I remember, I think I've seen that game and he got ejected. And we got a top rock star entertainment. That's Lizzie like Rowe holding the digital here. camera with a bottle in her hand, sunglasses. And that character, she has a cell phone throwing a peace sign. That's not her. She had no case. I got a case. Then three days are up. I already talked to my Jewish lawyer. So if you don't contact me within the next 48 hours, we're taking legal actions. You're the GTA 6 Joker. I'm not getting paid for this. I want my pain and suffering money now. Now, GTA. Find the other character. Find another person. In the floor that they betray that character from. I will wait. GTA, we got the top. Okay. So this GTA, is we got GTA 6 that looks exactly like this guy. Hey, I believe it. You know, there's a lot of characters. There's there's another video clip um, that somebody sent me, and it's this lady. Um, she has these two hammers, and she's walking around. And there's there's somebody like her uh, who resembles that character in the in the GTA game. And then with the alligator kind of walking alongside you know like you know going into like an uh, like a restaurant or something like that yeah i don't know if he's going to be able to i don't think he's winning that one but okay strange foods <laughs> i do not want to see that come on man yeah walk away what do you got here Olha Boston, a partir de 10 anos. just not hungry anymore I've got no comment I'm not gonna comment on this one nope not gonna do it I'm tempted to it's right at the tip of my tongue I want to say something but I'm not I'm not no I'm not and of course that was the last video that was the last video all right guys I want to thank each and every one of you guys for staying till the end and watching these videos. I told you, I told you we get some really creepy, weird, freaky, strange, and sometimes scary paranormal type kind of videos. So, um, uh, appreciate the support. Please like and subscribe, comment, and let's grow this channel, guys. Let's grow this channel. Listen, uh, I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. And, um, you know, take it easy, relax, go spend some time with the family. And until the next one, until next time, and in the meantime, and in between time, don't do anything crazy to yourself. We'll catch you on the next adventure. Peace. Still tempted to say something, but I won't. <laughs>